Thanks very much. Oh, Edgar, go ahead and open it, dear. It's good news. Oh, oh the glue slip. <laughs> Hurry up, Edgar. I'm so excited. It takes you so long to open letters and read them. My goodness. Oh, boy, this is good news. Listen to this. <clears throat> My dear Mr. Kennedy. We have sold the painting you submitted to us, and we think it's Wow. In the letter is a reproduction of your work and the check. But only for three bucks. <laughs> oh, Edgar, show us your painting that won the prize. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on. Oh, <laughs> Defy fat. Before taking, after taking. <laughs> Which one did you paint, Edgar? The before. I'd ever sell one. And I'm so happy. Oh. <laughs> Did you paint it with your eyes shut? <laughs> yes. Now, well, brother, don't talk like that to Edgar. All he needs is a proper environment. You know, Edgar, environment is everything to an artist. That's right. That's right. If I could just get out in the country with the bees and the flowers and the beautiful smells and things. Oh, stupid. The only place to paint is in Greenwich Village. Everybody knows that. I think I should spend my vacation in the country. No, I think we should go to Greenwich Village, where I could get up in my practice. Well, you're not going to get up in your practice in Greenwich Village because we're going to the country where there's beautiful bees and flowers and smells. Oh, Edgar, there are just as many smells in Greenwich Village, only romantic things like, like herring and garlic. Birds and bees and beautiful oh, now, smells. Oh, Edgar, don't be stubborn. We've never been to New York, and I think Greenwich Village would be fun. We could ride in taxi cabs and demi tasses and... We're not going to ride in any demi tasses because we're going to the country where we ride on birds and bees and oh, and oh, 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 I'm so sorry. Oh, that's all right. Come I beg, on your, in. I beg your pardon. Uh, what are you painting? Oh, just a little something to keep the wolf away from the door. Well, why aren't you hanging on the door where the wolf can see it? <clears throat> Say, uh, you don't uh, paint in a smock like that, do you? Yeah, sure. You do? And this, too? <laughs> Say, let me see that. <clears throat> Me. Yeah, set up some uh, French bread and some milk and some beans and some salami and some herring and some milk. Milk. M milk. You drink uh, milk. M I L M. M as in mother. Yes, dear. M M O as in oysters. T as in tangerines. Her. Milk. You know, there's no use crying over spilled. Matt said milk. <laughs> Set it up right away. My goodness, can you imagine that, Matt? Da, da, da. <laughs> there we are. 
In the north. Try that on, my boy. <laughs> Say, that was worn by a genius. <laughs> There's talent in that there smock. <laughs> Say, and there were four or five masterpieces painted on that easel. <laughs> well, so long, boy. <laughs> I'll be seeing you from time uh, to time. Pay your groceries. Oh, uh, quick service. Pay your Saturday. Uh-uh. No, dear, nothing at all. I want to paint. Oh, brother. What's the idea? We want you to eat, you big chump! Well, I don't want to eat. Would you like to know why? Because I want to paint. And would you like to know why I want to paint? Because I don't want to eat! Mama! Mama! Did I hear somebody say oh, eat? Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh. Oh, is that all, Yuba Pompey? Well, I've had some slight interruptions. I have the same trouble. Say, do you know what I do? I have somebody knock me up and not let me out until I've finished my work. Oh, Edgar, that's a good idea. I bet you can paint a masterpiece if you were locked up. 
Oh, I'd love to have somebody lock me up away from these lunatics! Oh, come on, dear, I'll lock you up right here in the little house. Here's the cop, eh? All right. There, Edgar, now you go right on in there, and I'll lock the door, and I'm not going to open it until you hand out the finished painting. Here, take this so you won't even have to come out for food. Oh, Mike, can you spare this? <laughs> Goodbye, Eddie. Goodbye. Edgar. <laughs> Yeah, drop in there like that. <laughs> 
Well, you know, it always works for me. One time, the very best break that I ever did in my life, the very best thing was one called uh, the Shadow of the Name. It was a girl, it's all about Oh, and she was the most gorgeous thing. Then another one that I did was called uh, Moon on the Back. I couldn't probably get my mind. What the call it? They can't talk. <laughs> Magnificent! Why, it's a masterpiece! A poem in color! My friends, there lies a master, and I discovered him! Oh, oh, oh. Ladies and gentlemen, it is with extreme pleasure that I present to you this masterpiece, created under unusual circumstances. The artist, Mr. Uh, Edgar Kennedy, was locked in a room during the entire period of its conception. Throughout the heat of its creation, he partook of neither food nor drink. It is representative of modern art in the extreme, futuristic, symbolic, and uh, conglomerate. Ladies and gentlemen, footprints under the sea. <laughs> Look, look, it's off. Oh, Edgar, it's right why out. didn't you do that at home when I had to go to all that trouble to sew off that coat sleeve? Oh, Edgar, you're the What's silly. the matter? <laughs> That's the funniest thing. I've had that thing on my thumb for a week, like that, and it wouldn't come off. <laughs> and now it just slipped right off. <laughs> well, I think sometimes. Oh, Edgar, what's the matter, dear? What is it? Edgar! 